Have you ever wondered what happened to the liver king, the guy who used to eat bowels and used to eat all them livers? Ooh, let's check it out, because what happened to that guy? What happened? Well, I'll tell you what happened to that guy. He kept eating balls. That's right, friends. I am the man you may know as Z from Our Reviews Will Kill You, the pragmatic podcast that brings you news, reviews, and all that good stuff. But we're here to talk about the liver king, and we're going to check in on him, see if he's doing all right, because I would like to know. I I don't know if you would. We're going to see what's going on. If you recall, there was a large uh, controversy of the Liver King. Said the man was all natty, had the nine primal, whatever you call them. And and I will admit that Charlie from uh, Charlie Moist Critical did turn me on to this. Apparently, he is terminally online, and he will tell you the truth. Seems like a good guy. I can't vouch for him or anything, but he turned me on to this, and I just wanted to take a look. Let's see. What is going on with the Liver King? There, he put up a, a relatively new TikTok, and I wanted to show you. See, he's got the the primals, the nine tenets, one mission. Except he wasn't all natural; he was roided to the gills, as our other good friend. Um, and I just want to point this out: this is more plates, more dates. And don't get me wrong, this bro, he is jacked, and he'll tell you. I am no fitness expert, and I'm not trying to slam the guy. I just want to point out something here. Because he's got like this website. looks great. It's doing better than I'm doing. And he wants to talk about diet and hair loss and looking good and male enhancement. He has an ad for Kratom. And I just want to point out, if I recall correctly, the guy who did a documentary on how awesome Kratom is, got addicted to it, and a uh, little unclear as to whether or not this is a drug and whether or not you should be using it. So promoting it seems a little on the shady side. Look, you do you, bro. You want to do all the Kratom in the world. But this is the guy who exposed Liver King, and I just wanted to point it out. I went to his website just to give you guys facts and the bro bro is 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 shilling Kratom, I guess. Not sure that that's the greatest thing in the world. When it's taken in small doses, it acts like a stimulant. So it acts like coffee, apparently. I don't drink coffee. I wouldn't know. And then I don't do Kratom either. And then if you take it in higher doses, it acts more like a narcotic and suppresses pain. And apparently a bunch of these weightlifter guys like to use it. I don't know, man. I'm not saying don't use it. I'm saying just be careful with what you do. Be careful what people are selling you. I ain't got nothing to sell you, friends. So just point it out. Not super interested. But as we go back to the Liver King, he's still eating stuff. And I I don't like, where do you go? Ancestral living? Like, dude, you ain't... You ain't killing all this stuff and eating it. If you're eating a live snake, you probably belong in uh, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. But all these pictures, they look like, I don't know how old they are, because I don't follow this guy. But as I said, Charlie from Moist Critical pointed out, hey, look there, Chief. He's not looking as good as he used to. I would say the year of embarrassment has had its toll on the Liver King, So let's see what he looks like live and just take an assessment. And I'm just saying, I'm not trying to be mean, but he's looking more like Santa Claus than Jack Claus. He's uh, looking like he got a little bit older there. Maybe you should recheck his supplements, but let's hear what he has to say for himself. In the modern world, we like to have our bowl of cereal, don't we? This is a primal version of your bowl of cereal. I got my testicles in farm fresh milk from Liver King Ranch. The milk- First of all, he said milk. And I think he said it's from the Liver King Ranch. Okay, bro. I, more power to you that you own a ranch. I'm not, I'm not hating. I'm just saying, if you're telling me that you're going to eat testicles and drink milk, you're wrong. And his... <laughs> His muscle, what is going on, bro? 
stop taking the steroids. I, I'm I'm assuming. I, I I just watched the Balco Untold, and I'm I, I don't know that steroids shorten your life, but you don't. At this point, man, you, you're looking a little a little desperate. He's still shilling his products, still doing what he does. And again, more power to you, man. You get two million followers. It's all good, but. I just don't trust people. I know we all got to make a living, friends. We got to make a living. And I'm just saying, some people are shilling stuff to you. Some people aren't. If I get to the point that I'm shilling something to you, it's going to be a physical, tangible product that you can have that's some something creative, hopefully, from my mind. Knock on wood, maybe I get to that point. I put out some stuff in the past, but you don't ever tell, you don't ever hear me selling it to you. These guys always selling you something, always trying to be the next multi-millionaire. We're here doing this for fun. I just need more Godzilla collectibles, frankly, and that's not that expensive. So let's let's see here what else he has to say. Most feared warriors, the Maasai. <laughs> Eating balls. What they get down on is milk, meat, and blood, and they're expressing a higher, more dominant form. If you still want your primal cereal to taste like... So why is he talking about the Maasai and he's talking about them, you know, I understand they mix milk and blood. Yes, they do. Why aren't you doing milk and blood, bro? You're just drinking milk and eating balls. And then on top of it, you're putting your whole whatever garbage. And I just, we're going to listen to this at the end. I'm going to replay it for you. I just want you to hear him how he drinks this thing, this concoction that he's made. If it's not the fakest sounding drinking you've ever heard, let me know. Like cocoa pebbles at the end. Put a little bit of whole piece in with your testicles. Make sure you peel back the membrane on the testicle. You can use a spoon if you want, but God gave you the hands for a reason. And go to town. Okay, when you hear someone go gump, 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 and go to town. It's not even going down. Bro, I could take that whole jug of milk right there and down it in like, I'd probably die. But I could down it faster than he's, he's going, goomp, goomp, goomp. So, just wanted to point a few things out. Thought it was interesting. What do you guys think? Are you still, are you, you doing the primal? You think the primal is the way to go? You peeling back the testicles? Or is this all just shock, jock, BS? Look, I know people want to be jacked and they want to do things. And I'm not saying don't listen to Liver King. And I'm not saying don't listen to more plates, more dates. Clearly, that guy's got some sort of technical background. But if I learned anything from Balco is that anybody can be a doctor. Anybody can say they're a scientist. And anybody can tell you what they want to sell you. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. I hope I brought you something interesting. I know I did. I brought that value to you. If you'd like to see a little bit more, we do have a podcast. We'd love you to check out. I definitely would like you to subscribe. Definitely like a thumbs up. All those things help grow the channel. You want the honest, real deal? You getting it here from the Z man? <laughs> but you can check it out. It's a uh, it's a great time. Friday night, seven thirty p.m. Eastern Standard Time with my compadre. We do it together. We review movies, news, do all sorts of crazy stuff. We do crazy stunts, do fun things. Guarantee you're gonna enjoy some of our extracurricular activities we'll catch you on the next one because i'm on to the next one